they'll be calling you a radical. So I'm having this beautiful piece of cake with some wild Copper River salmon because I'm an elitist. Why I bomb babies? So to the salmon, to the greatest story, to the greatest event in human history, bar none, is the salmon collapse in the Pacific Northwest. Let's talk about this. Salmon, salmon, salmon. If it was easy as fishing, I'd be a musician. I'll be in the hospital tomorrow, probably for a couple days. Well, we'll see. So anyway, so here's the deal. So we don't count sea lions. We don't count elephant seals. We don't count dead whales, which I know because I've been documenting since this happened. We don't count dead humans of leukemia because we don't even list their cause of death in the OBs because you've been your own worst enemy. You've killed yourselves. This country has murdered themselves by, oh, it's my Jesus, your Jesus, my whatever, you know. So when someone passes or dies, you don't even list the obituary. You only get sick. I mean, the environmental poisoning, bypass surgery, which that's probably what I'm going to be having tomorrow. You know, organ replacement, you know, cancer treatment, all these things. Yet we live less than longer. We poison the environment. So, yeah, we've been poisoning the Pacific for a long time. That, you know, oh, you, I mean, I like it. The dog and pony show, they says, oh, it's a bathtub. It'll be able to, it was here within 12 hours. Yo, Obama just crashed Radnet, Gina McCarthy. They crashed Radnet. They raised the legal limits on your radio just over and over. That's been their answer. Oh, you know, and just, we'll, you know, we'll get it when we get it, you know. Livermore's been in there. Berkeley's been in there. All these scumbags, MIT, who mommy told them they were smart. Mommy fucking lied to you. So, the salmon, we count all the salmon. The salmon, nature has done this for us. They've told us, hey, dumb fuckers, you killed the fucking planet. Mission accomplished. Look, the spring Chinook, they're the most consistent of all. They're all consistent. Salmon. They go to sea for five years. I said, I've been screaming my head off since the day Fuki Day occurred my whole life this because I knew this was the biggest event in human history. I knew it the second it happened. I knew it. For the light of shade decided me, you will never take that from me. And so, the trolls, the rats, the, everything that I've had to deal with and put up with, no wonder I got a bad heart. So, Traveling the whole world, documenting this. Watching the mirrors all wash up dead, starve to death. Oh, we're testing for what? Starvation? It's your biology. It's your pseudo de facto sociology. It's your pseudo de facto theology. No, it's the ecology, stupid. So the ecology, it's a chain. I screamed right here. I said, the day it happened, I said, Fukushima, they're dumping into the ocean. Fukushima's blowing. It took me a year and a half to convince anybody it was even one meltdown. They boiled the frogs nicely, haven't they? The new norm, death of the planet. The new, I mean, think about that. And that's really, they've been able to pull, I talking to the fish guy the other day. Well, they said nothing we can do. I mean, think about that statement. I want you to think about that statement. There's nothing we can do. The whole planet's just going to die. Think about that. Frog boiled nicely. I mean, mission accomplished. Orwell couldn't drain this up in his freaking best days. So it becomes as natural as occupying a bird refuge, as occupies unleashing cattle onto the western landscape. You know, so the sound, we count the spring chinook, the spring chinook, the kings. I said 2016, this is going to happen. Because the first batch that came back in 2010, look, you got to realize the Mitchell Act, the Mitchell Act, the Mitchell Act. That's money that you as the federal taxpayer, you just pour to the restoration of the salmon, 1934, to get rid of the gill netters, or whatever. By the way, they've been test netting, gill netting, which they should, why are they test netting gill netting on the Columbia? I want to know that. There's no fish. They're taking what fewer out. That's so grotesque and so illegal. I mean, this is the corruption of the Army Corps engineers, the corruption of the ODFW, the corruption of the state of Washington. The oil industry is so corrupt. I've exposed tons of corruption. I mean, it's disgusting. All that money flows through it. But so in 2015, they had record returns on the Bonneville. Now, this is important. Record it. Get this right here. Get this. In case I die in surgery tomorrow. All this is documented out there. You know, the narratives out there, all the truths out there, everything. I mean, I've ex dedicated my entire life to this. So, the salmon in 2015, record returns. 1,337,000 salmon returned in the Columbia alone. 
in the Copper River, Alaska, 2015. Now remember, they go to see the springs and the kings go to sea for five years. Some of the Kenai salmon can go to sea for up to seven years, eight years even, but it's five years. These are five years. That's when they're out there. They're the, uh, the pasture. Don't you love how they call it pasture? Just the same thing. Comes becomes occupying. You know, cattle are not natural. Go watch more gun smoke and bonanza. Yee So it's totally manufactured. It's a fairy tale. It's not a pasture. It's their home. We killed it. Fukushima released a gas called plutonium into the sea immediately. They sent 32 ships into entombment. USS Reagan included. Barack Obama, Commander-in-Chief, inside the Situation Room with John Holdren, with Gregory Jacko, with the Joint Chief of Staffs, with the Science and Technology team, 32 members of it, including MIT, University of Michigan, I know this for a fact, Jack. Made them stand down. We got this. John Holdren. Remember, look up John Holdren, Cal Berkeley. I want you to look up. He's the guy that nobody goes after. He's in hiding. He's ran this whole thing. He wrote his PhD on eugenics. Look it up. It's right in your face. There's nothing conspiratorial about any of this. Nothing. This is just fact. Lisa Jackson, head of the EPA, stood down. Freaking head of the RADNET, which is the Radiation Detection Network, was all over the United States. Gina McCarthy. She crashed RADNET. It's, a, it's an online computer. We can watch it. Right? We knew that they were spiking immediately. Everything that I said has come true. FOIA documents have proved this. Then they even retract FOIA documents. This is the corruption Patriot Act mission accomplished. So they crashed. The, the numbers just raged all over us. It continued to blow up multiple, multiple times. Fukushima blew up. Okay, day one. Blew to smithereens, all of them. One, two, three, four, four. Spent fuel pools on fire, Zerk fires. They lost water, went on fire, proved. I said they just blew to all smithereens. They're all over. Units five and six, fast breeders, blew to smithereens. Unit three, mocks fuel, the horrible of the horrible. You know, we've been going, I've been going after Fukushima for decades and decades and decades, Diachi and Diani. Diani blew up. You know, they're not there for nuclear energy. All 50 nuclear reactors, 48 reactors, the two experimental reactors over there, offline for six years, no rolling blackouts. They take more energy to produce. It's a scam. It's to make bombs and nuclear waste and to power and to threaten people. You know, that. why do you think they want to build something in Iran now so they can blow them? You know, it, it's, they're nuclear bombs. Fukushima, you know, the tsunami, the earthquake blew them to smithereens on the quake. General Electric built them. They cheated. The earthquake, it wasn't the tsunami. The earthquake blew them to smithereens immediately. Those cores cracked. I wrote paper after paper saying that they can only handle up to about a 7.6. This was a 9. You know, tick-tock, tick-tock, Diablo San Onofre clock. In my work, I'll send it. Why do you think I've worked so hard San Onofre? I know it's the most dangerous reactor. I was asked for years and years, what's the most dangerous nuclear reactors in the world? And I used to rank them. And I would, you know, all the reactors in Japan, I would rank number one. You know, in the United States, I used to rank it like this. San Onofre, number one. Diablo Canyon, number two. Oyster Creek, number three. Indian Point, number four. Turkey Point, number four. You know, remain, you know, down the list. You know, all, how many bottles of beer on the wall, take one down, pass it around. We've taken them down, but you keep bailing them out at the state level as they kill the Pacific Ocean. So the salmon go to sea for Five years, the spring Chinook. So I've been watching the tide pools. Ever so they're not dead. So I walked from San Francisco or from Mexico all the way to San Francisco. I walked on the ocean, documented it. I've documented them. I've been on most of those tide pools multiple, multiple times. Been in Austria dealing with the anti-nuclear. I was the last interview with Freedom Eisenblatt before she passed away. The greatest anti-nuclear activist in Europe. You know, in all over in Denmark in. You know. New York fighting my ass off against Indian Point, you know, all over. Megan Rice trial, Knoxville, Tennessee. I go, I won't stop there. But mostly, the most part of my activism has been California. You know, I was in Oregon, you know, going, telling the fishermen, hey, get on my team, get on my team. There's going to be no fish. Oh, you're hurting my fish. And I said, how are you going to fish when there's no fish? You know, because this isn't about the fish. This isn't about the cause. This is about their money. You know, they're poshing for bailouts. I mean, this is all just a shakedown. It's a scam. The Oregon fishing economy is a shakedown. It's a scam, like the American economy. It's built up on a house of cards. They're science fiction economics. That's what it is. So, I'm like, they're dying. No, they're not. Have record numbers in 2015. I said, look, that was the 2010. Ones that went on 2010. Fukushima didn't happen until 2011. 
and they just made the decision immediately just to dump water. They dump water on these hot nightmares. We don't even know what it is. The hottest, and if you don't think it's the hottest substance on earth, we don't even know what it is. They're sending in robots to this day. They've been doing this for six years, 2,236 days they've been doing this. Sending in robots, the hottest substance known to man. Well, not, and now, that well, not even known to man. Where'd you sleep last night? I slept in that dead fucking pines with the sun from Fukushima, Japan. It always shines. Bring, Livermore says bringing star power to Earth. Oh, they brought star power. The star, I mean, come on, 93 million miles away. It can still give you cancer. It's, 60, it's right there. It's safer to live in Tokyo than it is in Eugene, Oregon. You know, it's just hammering you. It's hammering everybody. So the here it comes. It's here immediately. I reported. I had documentation from the government leaked to me that it was here in 12 hours. There was a bridge that washed up in Eugene, Oregon in six, a bridge, an entire bridge in six days. Oh, it's a bathtub. It's like, no, it's not. You know, at Pacific Ocean, the generational arrogance of this generation. It's killed so many people in the United States already. I watched all the tide pools went dead. You know, Fukushima happens, dump all this hot substance. Livermore's filled the bottom of the pyramid. They've taken waste from Fukushima, Clyde, and Sumerji, and Fukutani. That's mine. That's mine. You know, I sure could use that money to pay for my freaking heart surgery tomorrow. You know, it's outrageous. Because I'm uninsured because I got leukemia and they kicked me off Medicaid. So the salmon, they're the only ones we count. We count every single salmon. In the Bonneville, which the Bonneville on the Columbia is ran and owned and completely dominated by the Army Corps of Engineers. They're corrupt as corrupt. There's, by law, there's cameras in there. The cameras magically aren't working. They haven't been working for days and days and days. Just like last year on peak day, they didn't work. They didn't work the whole time. You know, you can watch them online. Oh, they don't work. They haven't worked for freaking ever. It's corrupt. It's corrupt. It's pork. It's just pork that's been poured out. It's corrupt. Look, we got online. Tim got online. The guy I'm working with in Oregon. You know, I have insiders all over in there. They says, look, you can buy a GoPro underwater with Wi-Fi that immediately freaking go to a YouTube site for 60 bucks right now. <laughs> but we can't, you know, they're coming in skinny, sucked up what few are coming in. So in 2015, record numbers, 1.1,337,000 1, up the Bonneville, up the, over the Bonneville ladder in the Columbia. You know, the Copper River, 1.6, just under 1.6 million, I believe. All these numbers were record numbers on these returns on the Long Rivers. So, everybody said, hi, Blanche, you're full of it. And I said, no, no, no. The sardines and anchovies have been emergency closed. They're 99% class for three years, and they're not making a comeback. You know, I watched all the dead mirrors. I'm walking. I was in Pismo. They're playing volleyball right in 2015 when all the dead mirrors washed up. It was a guy in Alaska in Bristol Bay, a retired guy that was walking the bay. Because the derelicts at the Alaskan fishing game, the derelicts in Oregon, the derelicts that work for the government make a living off other people's taxes refuse to do their job. They won't do their fucking job. So, he says, five dead mirrors per meter. He called his, I believe it was his niece at Channel 11. They went over there. Just like how we got San Onofre. They were cheating on the, you know, it was Channel 10 and 8 down there. They reported it, local media, right off the get. That's the only time you're ever going to get any news before they circle the wagons. This industry's corrupt. So, now everybody's arguing with, no, 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 no. I said, no, no, you wait till 2016. Now, remember... The projected numbers, this is important, the projected number, they projected Noah's modeling, everybody's modeling in their computer models and ODFWs, everybody's model on the Columbia in 2016 projected 1.7 million salmon up the Columbia alone. They were projecting 1.8 million on the Copper River. They're projecting massive number, record escapement, record escapement in 2011. All this money, the smolts wrecked. I mean, they were expecting these incredible numbers. And everybody says the sea's been dying for you, yeah, but not the salmon. The salmon, this has been, this is acute, like my cancer. And so, everybody's arguing with me. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I've watched it. The ecology's dying. I'm watching. So, thing wells are freaking. I'm the guy that documented that the wells were giving birth in Monterey. The grades, I mean, they're, they're inebriated. They're came in. Everybody's saying, oh, we're going to test radiation. No, 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 this is starvation. This is a starvation event. This is the greatest event in human history. The tide pools are all dead. I documented them all. You know, they're dead, you know. Well, 99% dead. I found one starfish at Monterey at low tide. I mean, I've really worked hard at this. You know, we catch it exactly the low tide of the year we get there, and I do it. You know, I'm doing it on my own. 
And so it's all been well documented, so everybody's arguing with me. And I said, no, no, 2016. So their answer on 2016 was the same as Fukushima. They started to come in very weak numbers. So they projected on the Columbia 1.7 million. They came in at less than 700,000. Not only that, I'm dealing with boots on the ground. And they're saying, they're, that's by number. They're coming in sucked up, they're skinny, which is why do you, even Bill Monroe reported it yesterday. You know, at the end of his last article, he's the grandstand cheerleader. He writes, this is my half full. He knows, he knows, they know it's over. They know now. I mean, they finally woke up. 2016, this began to happen, just like I said. Exactly, the hypothesis, then you do the work, then you defend your work. It's going to give you leukemia. I got leukemia. It's going to freaking genocide the Pacific Ocean, genocide the Pacific Ocean. Everything I've said has been 100% Cassandra, like my place in time, the light is shining inside of me. So, I do this work. Incredible, you know, everybody pulls back from me because they can't handle the truth. They don't want the truth. You know, the attacks, everything that happened to me, no wonder my heart's gone. You know, because it's a heartless society that attacked my heart. You know, it, my heart is broken. I, I've got a broken heart, there's no doubt, because I love the ecology. I love the sea. I'm truly heartbroken over this. You know, the death of all my loved ones, you know. What a fraud America's turned out to be. North America, America, I mean, what a fraud. You know, 350 million people in the United States, we're not even talking to Canada. They're even worse up there. They don't care. You know, there's a small, teeny handful of group of people that give a shit. But I estimate it to be less than 3,000 people on Earth. You think about that. Out of 7 point billion, so here they come in 2016, and the Copper River, I'm calling, I'm talking to them. None of them will talk to me. I'm talking to Wyden. Wyden went to Fukushima four times. I'm talking to him all the time. He promised me here in fall that he would call me back. Just like Mike Lee promised me he'd call me back. Lisa Ling promised me she'd call me back. Freaking, you know, all these different politicians. Even Trump. I asked even Trump. I asked even Bernie. They all know. I've asked him because I do the work. I've got right up in their face and asked them about Fukushima. Please allow me to introduce myself. What do you think the handshake between me and a bee? A bee's the greatest freaking globalist, freaking pro-nuclear rat that ever lived. I asked the ex-prime minister of Japan right to his face. How can you be so anti-nuclear? Because he's out. He's living in Carlsbad now when I was in Southern Cal. I asked him in one of his press. He calls these hastings because he's got guild all over him. And I asked him, how can you be so pro-nuclear energy when you're the one that built it up? He told me right to my face, the United States CIA made me do it. That's what he told me. You know, I have witnesses. You know, and so I've done all this work and I'm screaming my head up. No one will listen to me. It's really, I feel like semi-wise, he's the germ theory guy in Vienna. You know, and 50 years before Louis Pasteur, you know, he's proved it. He proved his thing. And no one still believed they put him in a rubber room and killed him. You know, that's who I feel like. I really feel like him. You know, I was in Vienna when Igor, the famous photographer who took the photographs of, he took so much risk at Chernobyl. They entombed Chernobyl, 580,000 men. We didn't do nothing here. Barry Ann Gwinnett, Barack Obama, let them eat yellow cake. You know, Trump, these scumbags, all of them, scumbags, the, the University of Academia, MIT, Oregon State, University of Oregon, you know, Cal Berkeley, freaking Stanford, freaking Stanford kills youths again, all of them, San Diego. I mean, all these, University of Victoria, you know, they all play ball because they, you know, they're on the winning team. They don't know shit, by the way. They don't do any work. Studying for what? Starvation? You don't even know what it is. It's plutonium. It's a gas that broke the chain. It killed the krill. Big fish eat little fish. So, here we come. 2016, they start to collapse. Everybody's just, no one wants to listen to Kevin. <laughs> There's loggers of bloggers out. Oh, the, the, the salmon's fine for my basement in St. Louis or for my basement in freaking Victoria. Or even people live right on the freaking coast. You know, they're right there. I'm like, walk out. You know, come on, go with me. I'm right here in California. I'm right here under your thumb. You know, it gets worse and worse progressively as 2016 goes on. I'm tired of fishing there, like, it's a, but it's all about retail fishing, retail fish, shh, don't say anybody, you know, it's just a, you know, that was Emer da the Endangered Species Act passed on Earth Day, that's where we got Earth Day, 1970, 71 was passed to close this by law, so her name's Catherine Sullivan, head of NOAA, that's her call. That's their call. By law, not even their call. They have to close it. It dropped under the Endangered Species Act 300 and about 50 days ago. By law, it should have been, the entire ocean should have been emergency closed. By law, she needs to go to jail. And so, by law, they've ignored the Endangered Species Act. So, it began to collapse. Got worse and worse all 2016. All the fall, then the steelhead run. This winter, I'm the only one on Earth reporting, look, the steelhead run came in 
99% collapse. I'm like, oh my God, it's just what everything else, the ocean's freaking 95% dead. It really is. You don't want to hear it. I mean, <laughs> you're talking how many people a day eat at it. This thing's going to get so ugly so fast. So I'm like, this is on. So here comes 2016. Nobody wants to listen to me, whatever. So the Bonneville is got right now less than a thousand fish in it. What's being reported up to, I believe, the 21st or the 21st because they haven't. They don't work weekends. Army Corps Jews don't even report three days. The, the Willamette has four, from what I understand, because I called through a bit. So did Tim. They said there's four. They have. They've been reporting it's three. They haven't even updated in days. The live cam's not working. I mean, the biggest story in human history. And they told me straight up, well, you're the only one that ever calls. It's just, what? Greenpeace hasn't talked to you? Sierra Club hasn't talked No, no, no. It's just you. <laughs> no wonder my heart's freaking gone. It's broken. So, there's less than a thousand fish. And the Bonneville's the healthiest one. It should have well, close, to, moving towards 30,000 right now. It has less than a thousand. You know, when they update it, we'll get we'll probably end up around 15, 18. This is the time of year that there should be seven, eight thousand fish a day going through it. 131, 112, 103. They're sucked up. They're skinny. You know, even Bill Monroe's reporting that none of me meet the legal lead. They're, they're starving to death. It's over. We killed the ocean. You can't so you can't argue with me anymore. And that's the healthiest one. The Willamette has four in it. Four. It should have you know, pushing many thousands. And this is the help. The copper, we don't even know because they emergency close the whole copper upper limit. Yeah, you'll read, you'll go online and they'll say, oh, last is expect and record. No, they're not. I mean, that's all propaganda bullshit. The natives have already freaking come out, you know. The, and that whole thing, the whole native fishing thing's gotten corrupt up there also. I mean, the whole thing's corrupt. It's about just. This country trading in their health for somebody else as well. One company in Rome has bought up every single tuna boat. They own the whole fishery, whatever. There's no fish, but they get up. You look it up. They've got bailouts the last several years. This is the greatest. So we don't count wells. We don't count sea lions. We don't count freaking seals. We don't count even human beings anymore. We don't count dead trees. We don't count anything. We count salmon. We count every last. As an old stats professor, as an old economist, this is the most concrete number in the history of humanity. They all come home. And you say, oh, we'll just eat farm race. No, you won't. Five years, the farm race is over. They have to gather the egg. They've tried to genetically engineer these salmon, whatever, but this cycle is so hollow, they go from fresh water to salt water. When they come home, they go back to freak of fresh water. It's an incredible transformation. That female's got those eggs this big, and then she goes, the Frasers are reporting they're dying with the eggs in their belly, in their womb, just like the mama, you know, the Pacific Ocean. You know, you're raping, you let these guys rape her in her womb, you know. Oh, it's just about our fish. They're not your fish, Buckern. It's not a pasture. It's the Pacific Ocean. The river, it's disgusting, fuckers. You know, I feel like I'm really so connected to the sea at this point. Sleeping on the sea, being the sea, connected with the wells. I mean, they would come up to me. You can ask them, it's one thing. They come right up to me. The animals come right up to me. And it's amazing. You know, they cry to me. I'm just like them. I'm right there fighting, you know. I'm all but dead. My heart's broken. Their hearts were all but dead. We're fighting to freaking keep the ecology alive. You know, I, that's my path exactly. I'm that connected to the sea. I really am that connected to my mother. The birthplace of my humanity. I'm that they radiated me, they nuked me, I'm that connect. I've done this true truly. I've done all this work truly one hundred percent intuitively. And I'm a well educated person, incredibly educated person, done a lot of things with my life. And I've just flown in purely intuitively. I mean, how do you think I've been able to hypothesis all this? Go whack through, play back the tape, your honor, the greatest PhD in human history. It's purely intuitive. Because I've let the sea connect to me and the light get in me and I've just let it flow. To document that in history, because if I didn't do it, no one ever did it. You know, Dunford did that great work up there in Canada on the coast, which is it's historic. You know, in his classroom, and he, he gets it too, because he's connected. You can see he loves the sea. He's passionate. He's connected. He's heartbroken, just like I am. You can see that in him. You know, there's nothing fake about that guy. I mean, he's just incredibly passionate. You know, we're human. But we're connected to the sea. It's the greatest story in human history, bar none. The salmon, we count every single one of them. So, 
as an old stats professor, any social science 101, kids, when you see an acute event, this isn't this. This went from 1.3 million to 600,000. We're going to come in at 30,000. I mean, that's a 99%. Where's the endangered species at? This is acute. We know something happened. That's called an outliner. You start looking because it's not gradual like this. Something happened. I mean, the drought happened like this. But, of course, Fukushima had along the drought. The heat source off that thing is so We don't even know what it is. How are you going to test for something you don't know what it is? Because you've been refused to do the work because it's peer review. You just regurgitate. This is a true PhD. True PhDs hypothesize. Then they go do the work. And then they prove their knowledge and then defend their work. That's simple. And there hasn't been a PhD or true done one in this country in freaking decades and decades and decades. The people that raised me. You know, Semmelweis was a true PhD. He freaking was a doctor. And he, he did it. He did it. And he proved it. You know? That's what this is. I proved the freaking fructonium. It's going to pour this energy into the Pacific Ocean. It's going to kill the krill. It's going to kill the aluminescence. It's going to break the chain. The chain, the ecology chain, is going to break, and there's going to be a starvation event. It's going to collapse the Pacific Ocean, the Great Pacific Genocide, as I called it in the very early days. You know, from day one, every day, because I knew it was that. Right down to my own leukemia. It's going to, I got leukemia, you know, OIS, a death sentence, a death sentence. You know, the survival rate of that is nothing. Without a bone marrow transplant, even they sent me home, you know, Kicked off Medicaid, it's an incredible story because, I mean, it had to be told. It had to be, I guess it just how it had to play out. And I've paid an incredible hardcore sacrifice. I mean, I've sacrificed my whole life. I mean, it's been brutal. But, you know, it's not about me. It's not about me. It's about we. It's about the sea. And I've always known that. I fought for her. She fight. We're fighting together. We're trying to stay alive. You know, I'm, I'm fighting for my mother. I'm fighting for her. I'm fighting for all the animals. I'm fighting for the sea. I really, truly am. I'm fighting so hard. I can't believe how intense to where it's, you know, took out my heart. You know, it's broke my heart. You know, surgery tomorrow. You know, and I, hopefully I can make it come back. Hope she can make it come back. If I didn't believe there could, there's still a little bit of hope. And it's getting dimmer and dimmer and dimmer. I wouldn't do this, would I? So we look for an outliner. Something obviously happened in 2011. Something obviously happened. Something. Huh, that's a tough one. Fukushima, March 11, 311 11. 11 in Europe, they call it. I went into the bone marrow transplant center, acute arrhythmia on 11 11 11. You cannot make it up. You intuitively, again, I remember telling my uncle, really? On 11, I've always had this dream about 11 my whole life, that number. You know, Kevin Blanche, the 33rd soup can. Cream of chemo biscuit in a can. It's been an incredible fight, and you know, a lot of content, but it's very sad. It's not about me. It's not about you. You know, it's not. It's about the ecology. It's the sea. It's, I mean, it's unarguable now. This is the most. This will be the most documented proof statistically in human history. Not a small subset. The biggest subset in history. It's absolutely unarguable proof now. Because you tell me what else happened in 2011. It did not do this. That's a that, that's a fairy tale. Record numbers in 2015. Record numbers in 2015. 2016, they were cut in half, over half. 65, 70% collapse in 2016, just like I said. And now, from 2015 to 2017, you're talking 99% collapse. And not just the salmon, on all of it, but we can count the salmon. You know, and you're just still fishing. So, I'll be, when I come out of the hospital, I'm going to buy Tim's boat from him up there. He's got this beautiful, handmade, incredible boat right now. I mean, it's, he made it himself. He makes his own fly rods. He's an artisan. You know, the last one, he's been working with me. He's heartbroken like I am. There's a few of us left. You know, first they come for the craftsmen. And I'm going to buy his boat. I'm going to take it on the Great Salt Lake, and I'm going to sell fishing trips. You say, what are you talking It's beautiful out there. You know, they sell out there. But, you know, well, it's right here. The Great Salt Lake's right here. I grew up on this marsh. It's been drained and trying. You know, we were at the Earth, Earth Day thing. I wasn't able to go very much, so I said, well, you know, me and my grandson will just go up for, for just a couple minutes because it's my heart. So we went up and you know, they have a stuffed tundra. They have stuff when I says, you know, the tundras were right all over here. You know, one of the big horned owls, my grandson loves owls and, you know, was killed in the road right here. But, you know, they're still around, but there's so few of them. I mean, the steelhead going to go extinct? The, I mean, the spring should think about that. I mean, it's on the verge. It's on the verge of extinction. That's why we have the endangered species. Look what we did during day. Come by, ya, fucking lovey dovey, you know, not me. And I'll get my intense fight back. I'll get this heart fixed, and I hopefully the ocean. And I got a hunch it's going to go like this. 
her and I are both going to fight back intensely. I think she got her down and out so hardcore and all her animals and all her living beings that are inside her womb. I think she's going to rage back at something ugly. You know, I don't know. And I don't know, but the same with me. I, I mean, my rage will come back. I hope, I hope, I hope this doesn't kill me and I hope it doesn't take, you know, and so I'll be booking trips on the Great Salt Lake. It's, you know, I can show you all kinds of cool historic stuff out there. 350 a day I'll charge. What are you talking about? There's no fish. We'll fish. We'll fish. You do it all day, every day on the Columbia, on Prescott Beach, on Gold Beach. You do it all day, every day. Guides all over, you know, come take your trips. We're not, you're playing 450 a day. For what? <laughs> I mean, they're not even getting bites. <laughs> I mean, the fishing's that, I mean, and when they do catch one, they're all sucked up, they're white. There's no, I mean, there's no shrimp, there's no krill, there's no anchovies, there's no sardines. There's no starfish. There's no wills. Where'd you sleep last night, Kev? 100 million dead trees in California. I'm the first one that started reporting that a few years ago, too, when they were going. Huh. Where'd you sleep last night? I slept on the cliffs that Gorda. The bridge is out, by the way, on the one. But if I get better, I plan on going down there and I'll hike it again. So beautiful. Feels like heaven. Where'd you sleep last night, Kev? I slept in the dead fucking pines. Where the sun from Fukushima, Japan, oh, it always shines. And there was nothing we could do? Yes, there was. Could have been entombed. USS Reagan, the wills of injustice. They filed that suit well over five years ago. The appeal was, the oral garments were finished on September 1st. They have 90 days to rule. Today's what? TikTok. It's disgusting. Disgusting. The corporate, the judges, the legislators, the pre Trump, please allow me. I mean, these people, it's disgusting what they've done to our, you know, well, our land. It isn't our land. What am I talking about, our land? It's not our land. You know, we're here for a short period of time. We don't own anything. You know, not even the blood in our veins. You know, I was at Jeffers House when my nephew died. This winter, document the dead tide pools. The tides are in our veins. Oh boy, so is Fukushima. It's in your bone marrow. Thank you, Barry Antoinette, Barack Obama. Thank you, Gina McCarthy. Thank you, Lisa Jackson. Thank you, Kathleen Higley. Thank you, freaking Jay Cullen. Thank you, freaking Forbes magazine. Thank you, all the trolls and the vloggers and bloggers not to see here. Thank you. San Diego State, thank you UCLA, thank you all the marine biologists, thank you to the hundreds of thousands of academia, marine biologists, science professors, teachers all over, thank you for fucking us, thank you for fucking our grandchildren, thank you for killing the sea, because you did it, but we could have fucking done something, we could have, we could have went in there, you know, we could have gathered the best scientists in the world, and we could have fucking made what I call the opposite of the Manhattan Project, we could have created the Post Ignorance Project, and we could have, but no, you chose someone else's wealth over the health of the sea. You chose your short-term self filling for Fossey. You took the earth with you when you got in. Well, I got news for you. She's going to fight back. I'm going to fight back. Stan Tuned.